everybody. I hope everyone is having a really good day today. In this video, I'm going to be discussing VA loans and just some of the basics of what you need to know. So for starters, one of the things that people seem to kind of forget or just it goes unspoken and I'm going to go ahead and say it first before I talk about how you can qualify is not only can you use your VA loan, but your spouse or qualifying dependent or children can use this as well. And again, you can use your VA loan however many times as you want to use it. There is no limit. And also just another little thing to put out there in 2020, they have changed the rules that now there is no limit on what you can purchase with a VA loan. So if you want to buy a $200,000 house or a $500,000 house, you can do that, which is very cool. <laughs> now moving on qualification and eligibility. You can qualify for a VA loan by serving the minimum time in uniform, which is 90 days of active duty. And this is after basic training, not during. And another thing is VA loans do not hold like a set credit score for approval. So your credit score really doesn't matter. But here's when this does come into play is when you choose your lender. It is all going to depend on who you choose as your lender. You could go with lender from XYZ and they could put you in a bubble and say, mm, well, your credit score needs to be at least 640 for me to approve you for this loan. But luckily for you, I work with a lender who doesn't do that. And not only that, but she offers no fees. I have never known another lender to do this. Another misconception about VA loans is that the Department of Veteran Affairs provides the money and sets the interest rates. This is not true. Just want to go ahead and get that out of the way before I forget. And another thing, VA mortgage loans can only be used for primary residences. This means you must occupy the home. Occupancy is the biggest rule. It's the most important thing about this loan. You have to occupy the home. The only exception so the occupancy rule is if your spouse or your qualifying dependent occupies it on your behalf. And this only applies to your spouse or qualifying dependent. You can't use your third cousin Dale from your mom's side. That's just, it's not going to work. <laughs> and also this includes beds and breakfasts, Airbnbs, sororities, frat houses. Yes, sororities and frat houses. And another thing about VA loans is you can actually, if you already own your home and you didn't buy it with a VA mortgage loan, you can actually refinance it into a VA loan mortgage. And of course, this is not for everybody, but for some individuals, it makes sense, especially when you're looking to get out of an adjustable rate mortgage and into a fixed rate VA mortgage loan, it can make a little more sense. But anyways, this is just the basics of what you need to know. So I hope this helped a lot. And I'm Julie Leverett with Next Home Music City Realty. And call me. I answer my phone. Reach out to me. Thanks. Bye-bye.